We created the Sunulator to help people answer the question, is solar worth it? Hi, my name's Andrew Redaway from the ATA, the Alternative Technology Association. This video is on Sunulator, which is our free solar feasibility calculator. To download Sunulator and get more information, including the comprehensive user guide, just do an internet search on the word Sunulator. This video is part of a series that covers material in our standard Sunulator training course, which we've already delivered in several uh, Australian cities. In this video, we're, we're talking about electricity consumption and how you, you uh, provide that information to Sunulator. Why would Sunulator need to know about electricity consumption? Well, it's quite important for the for the economics of a grid connected solar system uh, in Australia and and in many other countries and parts of the world the the grid tariffs that you pay when you import electricity from the grid are quite higher quite a lot higher than the tariffs that you receive when you export electricity into the grid and what what determines whether you're importing electricity or or exporting at any point in time um, it 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 depends on how much you're generating and how much you're consuming if you're generating more electricity than you're consuming you're you'll be exporting to the grid and if you're generating less than you're consuming then that means you're you're um, uh, importing electricity from the grid all right so to get into the consumption, we just click on uh, the word consumption in the menu to the left, um, and that takes us to the the relevant part of Sunulator. Uh, you can see the note for the user guide reference up here if you have um, if you've downloaded that user guide. So there are a few different ways that we can uh, provide Sunulator with information on electricity consumption. Um, I'll start by showing you option B first. It's the it's the default option in in Sunulator, and and that's where where we have electricity consumption data already downloaded and available in in an, another spreadsheet, for example. Uh, normally, you'd you'd find that you'd you'd obtain that data from your electricity provider, either the retailer or the distributor that owns the poles and wires. So we select option B from the drop down uh, menu and click click option B there and then we click next with the arrow over on the left. So this is the preferred way to, to um, uh, tell Sunulator about the electricity consumption data um, is, is to have proper metering data um, preferably for, for a whole year and you can see we've got one row for each day so we should have 365 rows of data and we've actually got 48 columns um, it uh, continues out to the right and that's that's because the data is in half hourly intervals which which is a standard Australian electricity metering standard um, so that's 48 half hour intervals the um, the the first cell here is for um, it's the first of January 2014 and it's the the first interval which goes from midnight to um, half an hour after midnight in the morning of that day and uh, in that in that interval, this this home or this business um, that we've ad obtained this this data for has consumed 0 0.197 um, kilowatt hours of electricity. So just just to put that in context, um, that's about as much electricity as running a microwave oven for maybe 10 minutes, something like that and of course these numbers are going to vary you'd expect higher consumption um, in in more around the middle of the day rather than in the in the early hours of the of the morning okay so 
if we're going to copy and paste from another spreadsheet and the first thing we can do is click the delete data button and then we can switch over to the other spreadsheet we're going to select everything except for the header row so we, we do want to um, get the date column and all the other 48 columns so select it all out I can copy that in Excel and I can switch back to Sunulator and paste it in now the, the the preferred way to paste is we use paste special and choose values only and there we go we've pasted that data I've, I've just used the same data set again as an example this is a this is based on real metering data that we obtained for a, um, a residential property and it's a relatively typical um, uh, uh, consumption data set for a typical kind of house in a in a temperate location so that's how we how we how we get um, consumption data into Sunulator using uh, using that option with the copy and paste now the other main option that we have is is if we come up just click previous and um, now in that drop down we can choose option A for entering estimates normally you would use this option if you don't have access to metering data and, and you need to just put in some some overall uh, trends which Sunulator can use to come up with that with that uh, consumption estimate so now if we click next the the first thing that we we put in is an estimate for how many kilowatt hours of electricity would be used in each month of the year you can see from the round numbers here that it's really uh, just a just a sample dummy data um, so 12,000 kilowatt hours in January and totals to 200,000 kilowatt hours for the whole year or a daily average of 548 kilowatt hours per day so that's a lot higher than a Australian average household which would be around uh, maybe 16 kilowatt hours per day so we can see here that we're not talking about a household it's it's more of a business so so the the uh, dummy data that we've got in 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 this part of Sunulator is for a uh, fictitious manufacturing business once we've put in this estimate for the um, consumption by month we, which we may be able to obtain from just standard el electricity bills and then we click next and um, we need to tell Sunulator how that consumption varies over a day again there's uh, two options here we'll, we'll choose the first option it's the most likely one that you would use if you don't have a lot of data alright so we here we, we need to give Sunulator uh, w we break up the day into five time blocks um, and you can see here that those five periods it's um, morning lunchtime afternoon night and then standby and um, you, you can come up with your own labels that's that's no problem and you can also change the start time so at the moment we've got morning starting at um, 7 a.m. and ending at 12 a.m. midday um, then we've got lunchtime that goes from midday to 1 p.m. and and that's only one hour uh, we've got an afternoon period from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. and we've got night from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. or 1900 hours so so the morning period uh, is we're, we're saying that it uses 40 percent of the energy throughout that 24-hour day lunchtime being a short time period it's only using five percent and you can see that in the chart here that um, it's calculated that um, amount of energy that's used so it's we, we, we're modeling a manufacturing plant that has a has a, um, a mealtime break afternoon is another 25 percent 
and then the the night shift is another 20 percent then the, then the factory shuts down at that time and we only have a minimum minimal amount of electricity consumption for you know computers and uh, security systems and that sort of thing so let's say we wanted to play with this let's say we thought well actually maybe they have some increased activity processes over lunchtime so we can just change that percentage um, so so we've doubled the amount of energy in the lunchtime um, and you can see in the chart that's bumped it up the problem now is that our totals exceed a hundred percent so it's simulator showing us that with this this little red number that's popped up so we need to adjust something else to compensate so we'll make that 35 percent so that's how easy it is to to change a daily consumption profile in Sunulator. I'll just put those back to what they were. All right. On the next sheet, we can tell Sunulator about weekends and public holidays. So the the consumption profile we just put in would be used for normal working days. Um, what about Saturdays? Let's say we know that this this manufacturing facility is still open on Saturdays but it has a reduced activity level and reduced electricity consumption. So that's where we would choose against Saturday. We'd, we'd um, select this weekday factor and s set that factor as 80%. So it'll, it'll end up having um, a 20% reduction in electricity consumption on Saturday compared to the the weekdays but but still with the same shape that that same profile that we just put in on Sundays this fictitious factory is is shut down so in that case we haven't chosen the weekday factor we've chosen to, to have a flat consumption level on on Sunday and we've uh, we've picked the standby level uh, that's just the label that came from the previous uh, sheet it's the same for public holidays too. We can also enter shutdown periods or vacations, holidays. Um, and so what we've said is this, this manufacturing facility is normally closed from the 1st of January to the 15th of January. And again, it, it just has that, um, that low level of, of activity similar to late night, early morning on a, on a working day. And th those things can actually make a reasonable difference because if, if you've got a site which has low activity, low electricity consumption on uh, weekends, public holidays and shut down vacation periods, then during those times, which can make up a, a sizable proportion of the year, your electricity generation is mostly all going to be exported straight out to the grid. Yeah, because there isn't much, there aren't many appliances on to use that electricity as it's being generated. So during those times, your your electricity generation is probably not going to have as much of a bill saving or an economic impact for you as, as it would at other times. And that's all for electricity consumption in Sunulator. There, th there is a third option uh, on on the previous sheet. Um, which is for importing electricity metering data in a in a standard format that's the NIM12 format but if if you do want to do that then please refer to the user guide thank you